Hey, and welcome back for another ISO Bytes video series. In this video series, we'll talk about ISO 42001 AI management system. I'll cover all of the clauses four through 10, as well as all of the Annex A controls and give you everything you need to get your organization certified. The next section is Annex 7, Data for AI Systems. The objective of these controls is to ensure that the organization understands the role and impacts of data in AI systems in the application and development, provision, or use of AI systems throughout their life cycles. So these controls are all centered around the data you're using to train, to run, to enable, uh, to test your AI systems. So the first control is A.7.2, Data for Development and Enhancement of AI System. This control is concerned with the data that you're using in that design and build phase. So the control states the organization shall define, document, and implement data management processes related to the development of AI systems. So what it means is you need to define how data needs to be handled when you're using it to build AI systems. The next control is A.7.3, Acquisition of Data. This, as it sounds, is how you're going to acquire the data you're using for your AI systems. The control says the organization shall determine and document details about the acquisition and selection of the data used in AI systems. Very broadly worded control because there's a very broad set of data you may or may not need for your AI systems in your particular use cases. But ultimately, you need to determine and document those details that are relevant and pertinent to you and your organization. The next control is A.7.4, quality of data for AI systems. The quality of data is very important because it will not only affect the performance of your AI systems and ultimately the value you're aiming to bring to a stakeholder, but it could also affect the data subjects in ways that are unexpected. So this control says the organization shall define and document requirements for data quality and ensure that the data used to develop and operate the AI system meet those requirements. So those requirements could be a lot of different things. I'd encourage you to read the implementation guidance on this control, but what that guidance should be is helping that your builders of AI systems understand the requirements that data needs to meet if there are any. The next control is A.7.5, data provenance. So provenance means the origination or where something came from. So this control is centered around where the data you're using originated from. It says the organization shall define and document a process for recording the provenance of data used in its AI systems over the life cycle of the data and the AI system. So basically you need to document the entire process for where you get your data from and how you're incorporating it into your ecosystem. So think about that. Think about what data you're using. Are you pulling it from public data sources? How did they get it? Where did it originate from? All of those data points may be very important in determining impact of that data and your overall AI system. The last control is A.7.6, data preparation. So we need to make sure that we are documenting criteria for ensuring that data is properly prepped for consumption, use, training, etc. So the control says the organization shall define and document its criteria for selecting data preparations and the data preparation methods to be used. So again, very broadly worded control, interpret this within your own context, but ultimately you need to sit down and write out the criteria you're using for data preparation selections, making sure that you have clearly articulated what it means to prepare data for consumption by an AI system you may have developed. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you still have questions about 42001, please reach out to us at risk360.com to see if we can help. Also, make sure to check out the description for some important links to other materials that will help you as you take your organization on this journey.